Hi there friends, it's me Desiree with Clear Day. Welcome to today's Chicken Soup for the Soul. Today we're going to be reading about Life Lessons from the Cat. Today's title is The Wonder of Birdie. It always gives me a shiver when I see a cat seeing what I can't see. Eleanor Forjon. From the moment she was born, I knew that she was destined for greatness. I can recall holding her in the palm of my hand, watching her wiggle and meow, announcing her arrival to the world. I knew that she would be very independent, a young feline eager to explore her territory. From the enormous lynx tips on her ears to her silky brown tabby coat, she was everything I could ask for in a Maine Coon kitten, and I was in love. She was addicted to play and would spend countless hours in hot pursuit of all her favorite toys. She especially loved her cat treats and would wait patiently each day for me to serve her allotted share always hoping I would spill the bag so she could score extra goodies. As a very young kitten, she would climb to the top of her cat tree and stare out our picture window at the antics of the birds swooping past her vantage point. The sights and sounds she witnessed outside seemed to mesmerize her. It was usually impossible to break her gaze when she focused on an object. Perhaps it was because of this quirky trait she earned the name Birdie. I delighted in watching her grow into a beautiful young feline with countless energy, eagerly anticipating every event tossed her way. I knew that her Birdie was one special bundle of fur, but what I didn't know was that she was destined to save us from near disaster. Birdie's special powers were put to the test one chilly November evening my husband and I had just started to watch our evening television programs when I noticed Bertie perched on top of our upright piano. Her eyes were locked in a death stare with the wall thermostat. She was a cat with a mission and no amount of coaxing would entice her to relinquish her post. I rattled a bag of her special treats and still she would not move. I thought if anything would catch her attention, it would be food, but to no avail. I sensed that something was very wrong and motioned to my husband, Tony, to lower the volume so we could hear what captivated our little cat. Tony, there's something the matter with Bertie. She won't move. I've tried everything and she won't budge. Can you hear that hissing noise? He explained. Once when we were beside her, we saw small flashes of light bursting from the baseboard heater thermostat. The real possibility of fire was not far away. When my husband removed the cover of the thermostat, he discovered electrical arcs sparking from the thermostat cover to the mounting box. We flew into action, shutting off the power and removing the third thermostat from the wall. The wooden cedar strips beside the electrical box were severely burned. It terrified us to think that by the evidence of the burns, the arcing had been happening for quite some time. The experience left us shaken, overwhelmed, and very grateful to our cat for her perseverance. Tony, what if Bertie hadn't heard us? We could have been away, I shuddered. What a marvel our little birdie was. Birdie insisted upon staying by our side during the whole ordeal. Her gentle purring only served as a reminder of the unconditional devotion and love our furry felines provide us. I couldn't have been more proud of her to, uh, to be her human mom. Quickly, new materials were purchased and installed, making sure that all the wire connection terminal screws were tightly in place. We felt quite sure that we would never experience the problem again. Birdie has since passed away. I truly believe that if it hadn't been for one curious little cat and her fascination with the world around her, our home might have succumbed to the devastation of a fire. Written by Gail Sellers. Well, that is a remarkable story about a cat being a true hero. 
maybe you've heard of stories of pets uh, coming to the rescue and saving their humans. Uh, maybe you have a personal experience with a, a favorite pet of yours uh, that might have helped you in some way. Well, I hope you enjoy today's Chicken Soup for the Soul, Life Lessons from the Cat. We'll see you next time.